Masks are mandatory on the TTC. It's study time. And I was daydreaming about pop stars. And I have a bubble tea. And I missed my stop. That's what I'm getting at. So <laughs> I'm at Rosedale. Did I put on my makeup and fake freckles and completely change outfits and do my hair a little bit even though my day is pretty much already over and I have nothing else to do tonight but I wanted to feel good about myself. Um, yeah, you caught me. That's, that's exactly what I did. Um, but last week, I think, I talked about the books that I was reading and the movies I was watching. I forgot about my one true love, music. So these are three songs that I've been absolutely obsessed with. I don't know if this is like a thing, but I find there's rarely any like really good music at the beginning of the year because everyone's waiting for summer to release like their bops. So these three songs are more like vibey, I guess. More for the heart than for the dance floor. Um, so the first song is Trigger by Haley Williams. It came up in my Spotify release radar playlist and nobody told me that Haley's solo stuff wasn't also pop punk. I just kind of assumed that it was and that she was like taking a break from Paramore, but that's just what she was doing. Trigger is like an acoustic sad beautiful moment and it's just gorgeous I did a cover of it on my other channel which I will link below but um I have been listening to this song non-stop so so good the next song is line by line by JP Sachs and Maren Morris and I'm a huge JP Sachs fan I just feel like they're both in relationships with other songwriters so like this song just feels very like from the heart, from their hearts, and it just seems so like honest and beautiful and I just really really love it and totally recommend listening to all of JP Sachs's songs. He does a lot of duets. If duets are your thing, like they are my thing, he's your man. And lastly, this one is one I found from TikTok, but it's not a TikTok song. Um, it's called It's Still Okay If You Don't by Briston Marooney, I believe his name is. Um, I saw a TikTok and it was like about a different song that a lot of people really liked of his. And he's like, and this other song is coming out at midnight and they played a clip. And that little like five seconds was enough to get me hooked and I waited up till midnight. And yeah, I am obsessed with this song. <laughs> It's really, really good. The chorus just like, it makes me want to like, fall in love. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot to share my beautiful new earrings that Bestie Lauren got for me. Very cute, very much my colors. They're from um, Jewels by Angie, which we both love. So will I link it below? Maybe, if I remember. <laughs> Oh gosh, today has been such a day. I bought a lottery ticket. Turns out letter openers are perfect for scratching. I already won $4, but I would really love some cash for life. I got a couple packages from Depop today, so I'm going to open them all up. I I mean, I know what they all are, but I'm excited. So I basically got a bunch of records on Depop. First one, Vampire Weekend, Contra. I saw them in 2018 at Lollapalooza. And then we have Harry Styles. Oops. 
Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at him, so cute. It's weird that the actual records are like not attached to anything, but whatever, that's cool. Then I got Jack White, Lazaretto. I also saw him at Lollapalooza in 2018. And I have seen Harry Styles live as well. And then Sam Smith in The Lonely Hour. I'm not gonna lie, I literally got this whole vinyl to listen to I'm Not The Only One on repeat. <laughs> I know you can't really do that on vinyls, but I have a feeling I'll be playing side A a lot more. But I mean, I'm sure the second side is good too. Lay Me Down, I know that one. I always like Sam Smith, but I never think to listen to him, but I will now. Well, that is all from me for today. I'm gonna go have some frozen mozzarella pizza and watch the seventh Harry Potter part one. So, really thrilling night. <laughs> Betty buys, see you on Tuesday.